chemical fertilizers damage the soil and pollute the water and the air repeated applications of chemical fertilizers can lead to the build up of the salt in the soil the soil gets a white crusty surface and becomes compacted salt in the soil causes wilt or drying of crops Chemical fertilizers affect our health. The soil becomes toxic day by day and as the soil changes our health also changes. Chemical fertilizers are very costly and with continuous use the yield also slowly goes down. Chemical fertilizers like urea have nitrogen that makes crops and weeds grow excessively. The abundant leaves attract sucking and chewing insect pests. Crops sprayed with a natural growth promoter produce more branches and bigger greener leaves. However, unlike chemical fertilizers, this will not attract sucking insect pests. Natural growth promoters also stimulate the development of roots which boost the intake of nutrients and water. So, plants sprayed with natural growth promoter tolerate drought better. Chemical water on porta nala thota kalaira vandu The vegetables produced with chemical fertilizers have a different taste and other qualities. We cannot sell them. But vegetables produced with an organic tonic stay green and fresh even after 2 days of harvest. காய் வந்து பச்சை பச்சை சேர்ந்து நல்லா இருக்கும். ஒரு டேஸ்ட் இருக்கும். Natural growth promoters can be used for cereal crops, vegetables and fruits such as banana, mango, sapota and pomegranate. They help with flower formation, uniform ripening and increase fruit size and yield. As growth promoter also hasten crop maturity. You can harvest crop at least 15 days before schedule. In this video a group of women farmers from southern india will show us how to prepare and apply two types of organic growth promoters that are beneficial to the soil and crops The first product is a basic natural growth promoter locally called panjakavya Making panchakavya is very simple. We prepare it with all the group members or do it individually. All the ingredients are available in our home. We only need cow dung, cow urine, curd, milk, ghee and natural brown sugar. We don't need anything else. Mix one tray of fresh cow dung with a half a kilogram of ghee or butter. The ghee helps to increase the good microbes in the cow dung. Transfer the mixer to a plastic barrel and cover it with a cloth. Keep the barrel in the shade so the microbes do not get too hot and do not dry up. After 3 days, add 10 liters of cow urine and 10 liters of water and mix well. You can use human urine if you cannot collect cow urine.
Daily, we collect milk two times at 4 o'clock in the morning and 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Cows urinate while we milk them. So we collect the urine in a separate bucket and store the urine in a barrel for later use to make panchakavya. Cover the container with a muslin cloth to prevent flies from laying their eggs. Stir the mixture in the morning and evening for 10 minutes. Do this every day for 2 weeks. This helps to remove the methane gas from the cow dung. We stir the mixture in the morning and evening to release the bad gas. After the bad gas is removed, the things in the mixture decompose well. After two weeks, add three liters of water from green coconuts or whey. Add 3 liters of cow milk and slowly add 2 liters of curd while stirring. The bacteria in the whey, cow milk and curd will produce organic acids during fermentation which promote plant growth. Add 3 kilograms of natural brown sugar or molasses. Mash up 12 well ripened bananas or any other fruits and add this to the mixture. The sugar and the ripened bananas serve as a food for good microbes and improve the fermentation. If you don't have coconut water, you can add some more squeezed ripe bananas and brown sugar. Cover the container with a wire mesh, muslin cloth or mosquito net to prevent houseflies from laying eggs or else worms will grow in the solution. We all have cows. We use the natural products from our cows because they do not have any side effects on our crop. So it is safe, profitable, without expenses and no side effects. Stir the solution daily for two weeks so that all the ingredients mix well. The panjogavya is now ready to use. Before we learn how to apply this organic growth promoter, let us see how we can make it even stronger. By adding green leaves to the panjokavya, you make a product which farmers in India call dasakavya. Besides being a natural growth promoter, dasakavya repels apids, mites, tripes and other small insect pests. Dasakavya also controls leaf diseases in rice, sorghum, millet, vegetables and fruit trees. Collect leaves from local plants with a strong aroma that livestock do not like to eat, such as neem, pongamia, adathoda, or vitax. Mix 1 kg of the leaves in 5 liters of cow urine or other urine. Cover the mixture with a cloth and keep it for 10 days in the shade. Stir the mixture every day in the morning and evening. Filter the leaf extract 3 to 4 times using a gunny bag or a sieve to avoid any particles, so it will not block the nozzles in your sprayer. Add 1 liters of the filtered leaf extract to 5 liters of panchokavya. Keep the 
mixture in a container covered with a thin muslin cloth to let in air and sunlight. Keep the container in the shade for 4 weeks to allow the good microbes to multiply. Now let's see how to use Panjakavya and Dasakavya. Both can be used for seed treatment and at different crop stages. You can soak 1 kg of seed in 3 cups of Panjakavya or Dasakavya for 30 minutes. Dry the seeds in the shade for 6 hours before sowing. This helps seed to germinate, stimulate growth of the seedlings and it eliminates disease from the seed. For plants that are multiplied from roots or cuttings, you can dip the roots or sugarcane seeds in the Dasakavya solution for half an hour before planting. This treatment with Dasakavya will protect against root rot or damping off. Dilute 3 liters of Panjakavya or Dasakavya in 100 liters of water to spray half a hectare of paddy, sorghum, millet, vegetables or fruit trees. Spray 2 weeks after sowing or transplanting to prevent pests and diseases. You can also mix 2 cups of the solution per 20 liters of irrigation water in your drip irrigation system. This saves time and labor. As organic growth promoters are becoming more and more popular, the women's group in Tamil Nadu has started a business selling these natural growth promoters. We started a group with 100 women. We all have land and cows and prepare the liquid we need for our own fields. We also sell it at 50 rupees per liter. It is an income for our group. So other farmers also benefit and are very happy because they are doing pure organic farming. You can use organic growth promoters throughout the year depending on your need. You can store freshly prepared organic growth promoter for 2 weeks but could extend the shelf life if you want as Radha explains. Sometimes we have some unused liquid. We then add some brown sugar and mix it well. We close it very tightly with cotton cloth. It will not spoil for another three months. Let us review what we have learned. You can prepare a basic natural growth promoter with locally available ingredients such as cow dung, ghee, milk, urine, sugar and ripe bananas. This panjakavya increases germination, vegetative growth, flower formation and fruit size. It also helps the crop to ripen more uniformly. You can also add an extract made from urine and aromatic leaves to the panchakavya to make growth promoter called dasakavya, which also helps to control pests and diseases.
It is very effective against root rot and damping off. Organic growth promoters can be prepared at little cost and they are safe and good for the crop and for the environment.